Hi there, we're back with another amazing shader and today we're going to be looking at making some sweet snow. And first and foremost, I want to give a big thank you to the following people. Alberto Yanez, Octavia Immersive, Rude Van Rienen, Ongdom Ryan, Onfong Choi, Sean Poulter, VR Anime Ted, Eli L, Exodus and Harold Gunderson. Big thank you to all you people supporting me over there on Patreon, it's making the world a difference and it really, really does mean a lot to me, so thank you very much. Now on with the video. So today we're going to be having a look, a look at snow. We're actually, really, I guess you could look at it as being any kind of surface that you want to overlay over the top of your object. So that could be like sand, it could be a little bit of moss uh, or snow. So we've got our beautiful rock here. And at the moment it's just got a normal material on it using the universal render pipeline. And we're going to use Shader Graph to put snow on the surfaces of only certain faces so we only want the snow to be sitting on the top of the object not kind of underneath so how do we do that well we're going to first of all we're going to create a shader in shader graph so right click in my project go create shader graph urp lit shader graph and we'll call this one overlay surface not snow because we're going to be using it for just more than snow go ahead and enter and then on our material on our object we go down and we change from universal render pipeline lit go down to our shader graphs and we want to pick our overlay surface and then we want to double click our overlay surface shader in our project pane to bring it up in shader graph here is our shader and to start off with we're going to do a little bit of tweaking in our main preview section down here on the right we're going to right click and change it to custom mesh i'm going to choose our object 04 it's badly named but this is our rock and, and this is going to allow us to see our effects of the material that we're setting up directly on our object. Going to need to give this its original color. So we're going to go ahead and click on the plus. We're going to go to texture 2D. And this is going to be our base texture. I'm going to drag this out. Click on a little node and create a sample texture 2D. Back that down. Connect it into our base color for now so we can see it. We come out white. We're going to click on our base texture. We're going to give it a default texture. Let's go to our rock. We're going to give it the textures.com rock cliff. I've got the textures off of, uh, I think it was CG textures. So you can see we've got our base texture in there looking cool. Then we're going to go ahead and add our, in our normal map for that. So we're going to click on the plus and we're going to go to texture 2D again. And this is going to be our base normal. Again, let's drag it out. Connect it up to sample texture 2D. Change the space. Change the type to normal and we'll give it a default of texture.com rock, whatever your normal map is, you want to put it in there and connect that up to our normal map. There we go. Awesome. So now let's have a look at creating our snow. And we only want the snow to affect, we don't want the snow to just cover our object completely. We're not overlaying it all over the mesh. We just want it to sit on surfaces that we can assign in our inspector. And initially we just want it to sit on like the top of the surfaces, like snow would fall and just sit and rest on the tops. And in order for us to be able to do that, we're gonna use something called the normal vectors. And I'll quickly show you what I mean. Say this data back in Unity, go back to my rock. I'll turn on a uh, shaded wireframe. I'm gonna come across very well, I don't think. Hopefully you can see that. Actually, let's turn on wireframe, let's try that. So each one of these little triangles that you can see is a face on the mesh and each one has a normal vector and the normal vector will be pointing in whatever way the object is facing. So if you take this triangle here, the normal vector is going to be pointing almost straight up. Got some triangles on the side here. Normal vectors can be pointing the way the face of where the direction the face is facing. So this one facing out here. So that's the normal vector. Each face has one and we can use that normal vector value to see if we're going to put snow on it or not because the normal vectors at the top we can assign a value to so anything that's pointing directly up will be a one and as you come around to the side anything at the side pointing on the x-axis is going to be a zero and that's called dot product so as we go from zero round to the top up here the one everything in between is going to have a value between 0 and 1. So we can kind of set a threshold on that as to how faces are covered. 
And that's really easy to do in Shader Graph. There is actually a node that will allow us to grab the normal vector. So we'll go ahead, just press space. Let's start typing in normal vector. We're going to get the dot product of that normal vector. So remember, one is at the top, coming around to zero at the side. So we can put that a dot product node. And you can see here, it's only going to get the faces on the top of the object. And then if we change it, we start moving it around. You can see that that dot product is going to be looking at faces like to the side. It's really, really cool. So we can actually specify how we want to lay our snow on our object. At the minute, it's set to Y, so it's just going to fall on the top. But if we go up to our overlay service here and we go to create a new vector free, and we'll call this overlay direction, and we'll give it a default of one in the Y because we just want it to sit on top for now. But that will allow us to maybe make it look like snow is coming in from the side and on the top at the same time. So we're controlling using the normal vectors and dot products where our snow is going to be sitting. That's going to give us a value between one round to zero at the side and then down to minus one. I'm going to clamp it. I'm going to go from zero to one. We're also going to be having a look at how we can control the density and how strong that effect is. So we're going to multiply it. Let's drag from our clamp out to multiply in the B slot. And this X, we can then assign an overlay. You can see we can control how kind of dense that is. So we're going to go up to our plus and we're going to create a float. It's overlay density. Drag that node out and plug it into our A slot. And we'll give this a value, let's say, of one for now. We can really crank this up later on if we want to. And now we're going to look at combining our texture our base texture with another texture that sits on top. Now, it could be snow, it could be just white, or what about you might want moss or sand. So we're gonna create a overlay texture. So we're gonna go and create a texture to be, it's gonna be our overlay texture. And for a minute, let's go ahead so we can see this. I've got a moss one, which is quite quite cool. So we can put in a moss texture there as a the default, drag that out into graph. Connect it up to a sample texture 2D. See our material. Drag that out and we'll put it into a multiply node. And then in the uh, in the B slot of that multiply node, we're going to drag and drop our overlay density in there. And now you can see in that little graph, our grass is just affecting pop. Oh, and now we need to blend our regular texture with our overlay texture. So we can unplug our base texture, drag it out again, and we're gonna use the blend node. I'm gonna put it in the in value, the base. We're gonna be blending our grass texture or our overlay texture, so we'll pop that in there. As you can see, it's very dark. What we're gonna do is we're gonna change overlay mode from overlay to screen. Now you can see um, it's got a very subtle shade in there. We can control the opacity for this value. Leave it a one for a minute. We want it to happen. We want it to have a stronger look. We go to our overlay density and increase that value. And then we'll go ahead and plug that into our base color. And then you can see in our little main preview that we've got grass or moss sitting on the surface of our objects. Because we're using a texture, we may want to tile that texture. Uh, and that's really easy to do. We can go ahead and click click on the overlay texture in the surface parameters section and we're going to tick on use tiling and offset. I'm going to save that shader and we'll jump back into Unity quickly and see where we are. We've got our rock, extend that down. We're going to change the shader to shader graphs overlay surface. See we've got our base texture and our base normal and we've also got our overlay texture as well. Overlay, lay, overlay density is quite low so we can start bringing that up. And then you can see the moss really coming in and, and looking really nice, but just only affecting top surfaces. And you can control that in the overlay direction. So we can put it on the bottom, we can put it on the top, put it on the sides. And now we're just going to go ahead and put it on the top. And the, the higher you increase this value, the more effect it has. You can see it on one, it's got, looks like it's got a little bit of fall off. 
between the rock and the moss, but if we start cranking that up a little bit, it stays on the top, but that effect just gets stronger and it looks like you've got a harder edge. That's a shader in its simplest form. You can go ahead and swap out the overlay texture. You can put in a snow texture, which is really cool. You can also go ahead and use a sand texture, sandy in a desert or something, and play around with the overlay density. A little bit dusty. Now I'm just going to go ahead and keep it to the moss. That's really it in its simplest form. We can go ahead and make a few improvements. Like at the moment, and um, the normal map is very much still effect. What about what about if you want a normal map for the moss? So we'll go ahead and create our texture 2D, and this is going to be our overlay normal. And let's give it a default of our moss normal. Again, these are all textures which you can get. Um, from CG textures, I think I've just created a free account, or you can get it, grab it all from a Patreon, which also includes the shader as well and all the project files. So, if you need the textures, you can use any ones you want, or if you want to use ones I've used, then you can grab them from there. I'm going to drag out that overlay normal, put it into a sample texture 2D, make it a normal map. Now, we only want to affect the moss on the top we don't want to affect we don't want to give our underside of our object that moss texture because there is no moss there we're going to use a bit of funky blending we've already got direction from our normal vector here so i'm going to drag out from where i've clamped it i'm going to go to a remap make sure it's in the in slot And I want to go from 0 to 1 because that's what's being input from this clamp. I'm going to invert it. So make the X 1. I have to give the Y minus 5. We just have to kind of play around with that until we get the look we're looking for. Probably something like that. We just want to kind of invert it. So to get to combine the remap node and, the sum, and our normal map, we're going to drag out from our normal. I'm going to create a blend. Maybe our base. We can leave the blend at default. But the opacity we're going to use this remap node for, so we're going to drop that down into our blend socket. Our normal map's really only affecting the top of our object. Great, that's kind of what we want. Now we need to combine our regular normal map with our moss. I'm going to drag out from my moss. I'm going to create a lerp. Go in the B socket. Our rock normal or our base normal is going to go in A. And up in our parameters, we're going to create a new one, float, and we're going to call this normal blend. Bland, normal bland. Normal blend. Change that. Like so. Drag it out and plug it in to the T section. And now you can see when we change this, it's going to start to, you can see our moss is very slightly coming in at the top of our normal texture. So we can go ahead, put that into our normal, save. Because we may have tiled, because we tiled our overlay texture, we may want to do that for our overlay normal. So go ahead, select overlay normal and go to use tiling and offset. Click save. Let's jump back to Unity and see where we are. So it's looking kind of weird and that's because we haven't got a normal map in our overlay. So we'll go ahead, click on there and select our moss normals. There you go, you can see that's popped in. We've tiled our moss texture, so we'll go ahead and do the same for the normals. Then we can control that amount between the rock and of the moss. And that's, that is only gonna affect the top of our object. So boom, there we have it. That was a very cool shader, allowing us to overlay pretty much any texture on top of another one. Uh, with the ability to con control the overlay direction, if you want snow or moss, or if you want something that was coming in from the side, like it had been blown in by the wind, then you can do that too using the, the X or the D values. So really simple shader. It's going to allow you to do some cool things in your game. Just imagine, imagine it like this was started off in a really pristine environment. And over time it got all aged and weathered and you've got moss growing on the surfaces. That'll be really cool. And don't forget, if you want all these shaders that I've created so far, from the little portal to the fire, 
uh, and a patron exclusive here which was the crystal this is a really cool one like it's got like a volume inside really neat uh, and this snow shader then you can just go ahead and grab them from there but thanks very much for watching i'll see you in the next one